What's up, y'all? Um, I literally just woke up and finished meditation and logged on to Instagram and immediately noticed the disparity in my news feed, which is not an unusual disparity. Yet again, another black body was killed. Another black person was killed by the police. Because George Floyd was more than a body. He is a spirit. He's still a spirit and soul and and someone's loved one, a lot of people's loved one right now. And he was viciously and evilly taken from this plane yesterday. Um, in front of people. And and then apparently yesterday or the day before yesterday uh, a white woman named Amy Cooper used the fullness of her whiteness and the um, violence that is white woman fragility very specifically to to try to ensure that um, Christian Clark I can't think of his last name um, a black man met the same fate as George Floyd it did not happen. I mean, she nearly killed her dog to do this. But, And I'm not going to, you know, I've given you enough of the names for you to be able to go and see what happened. But what I want to note is the disparity. The way in which I have a timeline filled with the exception of only a few people. A timeline filled with white folks living their regular ass lives and a timeline filled with black folks and people of color to eat, color and solidarity with black folks mourning and I want I want you to ask yourself why why you why you live the kind of life where you don't have to know these things until they are you know well on national and international news as protests um you know weeks after the fact why don't you have to know these names why don't you why do you have a life that is so insulated from the experiences of black people and people of color that the tragedies that happen in their lives go unnoted to you. Your comfort is the system in action. Your comfort is white supremacy. Your ability to rest easy without ever having to think about the fact that a police officer put his knee on a black man's neck until he suffocated and died is what white supremacy is. White supremacy is not just your the internal machinations of believing that you are above the lives of black people. 
It is the literal structural reality that allows you comfort while black people experience death. It is the ability for you to rest well while we do not. If you have a life so insulated that the trauma and tragedies, violence and harm that comes to black people never has to come across your consciousness or only until it hits mainstream news. You are living deeply in the blanket of white supremacy. You are sleeping well and comfortably in the blanket of white supremacy. And may George Floyd's death and the death of every other black person at the hands of an imperialist state be the enemy of your ease. May their spirits disrupt your spirit until you get up and do something. Because this is the system you and your people made, white people. You benefit from the system your grandparents and great-grandparents and great-great-grandparents made that allow you to rest comfortably while we die. And that, that is the system of white supremacist violence.